Previously on a swordsman journey, Jizo found a note in a treehouse after following a blood trail. The note had some valuable information that eventually led to an entrance to a dungeon. This was the only way to get some answers. Alright. Man, it was hard to get out of that string. And from what high did I fall? Oh, that's actually pretty high. And it's a good thing there was a well over here, otherwise I would have been dead if I fell from such a height. Alright, so where am I? Actually, where where's my weapon? And where all my stuff, all my food? It's all gone. Don't tell me it all is all in this well. Well actually when when I look down it looks like there is a underground cave, so maybe it all got swept away with the stream. And it was already hard enough to get out of it, so oh man, I don't think I can go and get it, so I should probably just go and look for some other stuff, but I, actually I should probably go back, but there's no way up, so... Oh, alright, so there's... What is that? Look, that looks like a month. That looks like a zombie, or actually, I don't know, it looks like a villager or a zombie. But I should probably run away from that. Alright, so, let's see. Uh, there's there's just some doors over there, and there's a, a room over there. I should probably go and check the doors first. No, there is no, there is no way to enter it. Alright, so, alright, so I should probably go and run to this room and see what I can find. Maybe I can find something to use as a weapon. Alright, so he isn't following me. What does this say? It's, it says Warlords. Where did I hear that? Actually, I think it, I think the note of the guy who died um, mentioned it. So, does this mean that there are some information about Warlords here? What's, this looks like a tomb. What is this? These are just tombs, four of them in total, and there aren't even names of the ones who, who lie here, so... Does that mean that there are just... Doesn't mean all four of them are warlords, and they're... But where... Alright, so... It looks like there's some armor over here, but before I get it, where... I really want some information about the warlords. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything over here, and it looks like this tomb has been here for a pretty long time judging from the moss but everything here seems clean except for this alright so I probably should go and get uh, this chain helm it looks better than the leather one so let's see how much leather uh, how much chain armor I can get I mean the more the better so we already have a helmet and we have some boots do we can we get it oh there's a body armor a chain chest plate over here I just go and put this on. Oh, actually, we already had a chain chest plate. All right, so I should just go and put this back over here. All right, so let's see what's this. Did? All right, so there are some leggings over here. We didn't have those. No. Nope. All right, so we're we already have a full armor set. And this is this. This looks like an iron sword. I mean, it looks pretty good. And let's see what the other ones had. Oh, so Jay just had some wooden swords over here. So I think they probably had some valuable things over here and they just switched with the, uh, uh, the hunters or maybe just the owners of this place just switched them with the uh, ones they had on them I think I'm just gonna go and take this iron one it looks far more better than the uh, than the wooden one let's see so iron sword has six attack damage pretty good all right so now I should probably go and uh, go to the other uh, pet and let's hope there aren't any mo other months over there with the zombie villager or the villager that turned into a zombie so all right so this is all the information i can get from here so now we know there are four warlords that the guy who managed this place know about and looks like the villager the zombie villager is gone all right so that's a good thing and this looks like a pathway to somewhere else but i can't there isn't a switch or something that could uh, move it is this an illusion no all right so and I can't open those doors. Can I open with my sword? Maybe if I use it long enough, it will break. But I don't see anything valuable. Just a, just something a way down over there. Well, I don't want to go down any further. I want to go up. But it would be nice if we could find some information about um, the guy who actually um, did those awful things up at the service. So we should probably go this way. I haven't seen what's over here. All right. So, all right, so there's a door over there. And something else all right I can't see anything else does it that that looks like a spawn gem I read about it once I see yeah, that looks like a spawn gem all right so uh, I think I should make a run for it to the door and see what we can find there 
and I need to eat something really quickly. All right, so I should go and run for that and not look back and close the door as fast as we can. All right, so we're safe. And this looks like a storage room, so that doesn't lead anywhere outside. That's too bad. But, oh, there's water over here. This looks like clean water compared to the well over there. So, oh, we have some glass bottles. I completely forgot. We can just fill them up and we can drink water. So let's go and fill all of them up. All right, so that is good. I we should probably refill for now so for uh, we can use it later let's put these back in my pocket and let's see this looks like a chest but there might be some armor or uh, weapons in them i don't need them anymore at least not for now it would be better if we get some better uh weapons but i need i need food right now i definitely need food uh, but i can't open these because of these blocks but these looks like movable blocks is there any way to move them no, I should probably break them, but I don't think my sword can uh, do that. So let's see. That's yeah. This looks like this looks like there's been mined over here, and there's a all right. So there's a zombie over there. Did he spawn from the uh, spawn gem? All right. So let's see. He looks pretty dangerous. Let's just take our distance, and we should probably just stay away from the spawn gem so they don't notice us if they spawn again. All right. All right. So we're safe. It looks like he. I got some rotten flesh. I can just keep this in my pockets even though I don't want them. It might come in handy later. Let's see what's over here. Just some gravel and some cobbles. And there is a wooden pickaxe. Someone left this behind. All right, so I can use this to b uh, break the blocks if I'm lucky. Let's hope this is not made from a strong material. All right, so we can br break it. All right, nice. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, some food and even better pickaxes. So my guess is the people lived here, actually people live, uh, they still live here because they mined over here and they just, uh, they use this for their food uh, when they're gonna eat and where they're gonna store their weapons looks like someone just thought it was useless and just threw it in there probably a big mistake, so let's just go and make it like, actually we should probably pay, uh, get one and uh, make it like nothing ever happened so no one gets suspicious alright, so let's just go and put this back just so that no one gets suspicious and we should be careful i can i think i can break with this stone pickaxe i think i can break the gem out of its place the spawn the spawner so that nothing else spawns can we do it real quickly maybe we can all right so see all right so we're safe we broke the gem all right nice i right, see there's just one pathway over here and nothing else over there so this looks like just like a dungeon over here and this pathway looks a lot different from the other ones we were in so we might find something absolutely uh, maybe people who live here or let's see so there's a door over there and why is there a long pathway between two doors what's the point let's see what's over here and what's with that light what in the world <laughs> 